All right, this is Jake. We're gonna play a 5-0 tournament on chess.com. It is allegedly starting now. Where are we ranked? We are, I think, Second. the highest rated in the field by a lot. Nice. Interesting. It's a good. Ben would like move. to play d5, so I will play knight f6. D5. D5, X clan. We both like play C5 yeah, here, right? C5. But you do the knight C6 stuff. I prefer knight C6 earlier. You play a knight E4 here. Okay, that seems reasonable. And then I think queen B6. Just hit that weak B2 pawn now that their bishop's <coughs> not defending it anymore. Uh... Get the rook to c8. So I think the question is, do we want to take on d4 first, or just play knight c6? I think knight c6. Yeah. I mean, I was just thinking, is it a problem that, that they yeah. might be able is to Yeah, is it play? a problem that they can take? Yeah. Um, I think I can just take back queen. If they yeah. play b4, knight takes b4. <laughs> and keeps d5 better under control. Not that they're likely to attack it soon. I'm tempted to think we can allow taking and maybe play like f5, e5, and storm. I was thinking of bishop f5, defend the knight, play, open yeah. up the rook for c8. Something normal, rook c8, e6. Yeah, I think I'll go e6. Seems like a slight advantage for black. Yeah. There are some ideas of rook c8 and then trying to combine that with knight b4 and... Then knight takes d2. Knight takes d2. Knight moves somewhere. Yeah. yeah. And knight c2. Seems a bit... Alright, let's play rook c8. Because I'm not yeah. quite sure where I want to put the dark squared bishop yet. Probably going to d6, but... A4 is one of those moves where it's just completely unclear. I guess they so badly so, want this. I think their point is a6 takes and knight d4. Maybe. But we can take back pawn if we're even remotely worried about that. And our bishop has g6. If they play knight d4 now, we just move the bishop. Is our queen ever getting in trouble? b4. No, because queen takes c3. If they take on e4 first, bishop takes e4, knight d4, b4 threat. I don't think so. So I would just play bishop d6 and get ready to castle. Does that seem reasonable? Yeah, I mean, I would... <coughs> bishop e7, also possible. And take back queen. Just to give our queen maybe an extra square. Okay. This 1300s, like, wow, I'm really putting the 2300 <laughs> of the test a lot of thinking. Quick takes. Maybe knight c5 someday. d3 looks potentially vulnerable. Yep. Just gonna castle? Yeah, just castle. Quick takes. If a uh, bishop d3, we had knight takes f2. Uh, I would be tempted to play rook b8 or c5, I think. I don't think something like queen h4 does much. Rook b8 look okay to you? Yeah. We should play c5 at some point. I like c5, c4. Alright, let's get started. Maybe queen b7. Because that pawn is actually not trivial for them to defend. I suspect that they're running out of moves to not create weaknesses, and they're going to try an f3 at some point soon. Well, that would be pleasant to see. 
I think they should just look to trade some pieces, play like an 84. <laughs> Good prediction. Super easy. All right, I think I want to keep pieces on the board. Yeah, that knight is the knight on d two is just not doing anything. Um, I don't know d six or f six. I wouldn't spend too much time. I'd just do f six and not worry about right. it. I'm working on not spending time on moves that don't make a huge difference. Yeah, I'd just like to have figured out kind of how I'm going to root my knight back into the game. Maybe d seven to e five someday, but queen b seven is probably our next move think. Yeah. They didn't have b3 before, and now they do. It's rather a shame. Maybe rook c8? True. Maybe queen b6 at some point, so that d4 is better supported. Though maybe it's supported well enough already. But I don't think so. I think it gives useful squares to them, like c4. They're way to click squares. I think so. Right. You were right about their uh, making weaknesses thing. Now d4 starts to look juicier just because we want to open the game up. Um, I think h5. Is it better than h6? I think forcing g5. We have queen c7 coming. Okay. We can put queen c7 now. No. Okay. Yeah. I'm just thinking we'll have to defend h5 if we play it. Yeah, I just... Uh, maybe they can play g5 and f4, and h5 is vulnerable. Okay, we can go h6. I just... Their pieces come over readily, so I'm tempted to not let them open lines. Okay. Let's try h5. And play slower, if anything. It is nice because... If they come g5 here, where are we going? g7. I think. So then now they're going to play f4. <clears throat> and then I think maybe d4. I think I want to break up those pawns. Yeah, watch out for bishop f3. It's not a huge deal. Because if f4 gets loose, that can be hard for them to defend. I'm giving up c4 to the knight, but then b3 falls. This seems suspicious. But for who? Um, queen c7? Okay. Getting the knight to c5 is nice. Getting pressure on that pawn. Yeah, I was also, hoping they'd just move the knight and then uh, hang We could also three. take it on f4. Which I thought oh, true. Good. For some reason, I did not think that was possible. I just assumed they defended it. Um... Probably take on f4? Yeah. Alright. Sorry I was blind. If they take on g6, we can we deliver take, a check. Yeah. Maybe many checks. I think I want to check again. We can also take on g6 and play rook f8. That is true. Yeah, that's a nice point. If their king is specifically bad on f1. Nice call. I thought may as well give them more chances to go to an awkward square because the king can't really run from e2. Uh, yeah. It's going to be pretty hard to defend that knight. <laughs> yeah. All right, just got to go quick now. <clears throat> I'm going to stop actually. Doing... I'll let you just take it from here. Because I feel like me talking now will be more distracting than helpful. All right. What about you tell, tell our viewer a story? Um, the time we almost got clocked by a 1400. Ooh, that was a dark time. Uh, we're probably, like, the last game to complete, given power pairings. I think they have a Leech S like system, because it has a streak here that, like, you just get paired immediately. Oh, nice. I assume there's no... Oh, that's no... the arena thing. Yeah. So, I assume that, uh... So, at least one person has finished that. Because we're now all number two. That's true. Zero points. No one. But we're going to catch up on time. That's what counts here. Right. I take this and then play checkmate. What? Ha what? I can pre-move that. Wait, what? That's all I will. They thought this helped block the second rank. 
All right. Ooh, you, you can berserk here, apparently. Maybe. Or do you get one point for a win? I really got a draw. No, I, think I think you get one point for a win. All right. Um, what would you like to start with? Whatever. All right. We got two points there. So maybe we're a streak. When you get a streak, you get... Hmm. I have no idea how that worked. All right. I'm going to play my weird anti-scandy that's garbage, but it's fine. My main idea is to never put a pawn on d4 that they can tickle. And to chase their pieces awkwardly. I can't play f3 if I've castled sometimes, because if their queen's on a5 or d6, they can respond with queen c5 check. But here yeah. I can play it. I'm going to play f4 later anyway, so the tempo is not a big deal. Um, and the idea is knight g3, castles, and f4, f5, normally. That looks good. Sometimes with queen e2. Let's start with queen e2. And there's the question, do you oh, want to right. wait on it and play like bishop d2 or ke1, or do I want to play f5 now? I used to play this. I you think can also I play knight c4. Me. I'm just going to play... I'm going to sit for a turn. They can play a queen b6 and grab a pawn, but rook b1, I think, afterwards. Because they can't take on c2 because rook c1 traps their queen. Their bishop's right. loose now. So yeah, f5, because yeah. we've... Yeah. Because their queen didn't want to actually be on b6. So if bishop b3, their queen has no squares, but our queen might get chased. Um, we can sit on d6, okay. True. Yeah, let's drop the queen. I feel like someone named Monster Forever should be playing Monster Chess. B4 is not that unstable, because then we could go to like A4 or A5 if need be, if we were chased there. Like on Rook E6, it's entirely possible the computer correct move is to move our queen away, not to take the rook. Yeah. We will be taking the rook, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we Can we be it. fancy? That's not. Um, take and check. Yeah. You can bishop f7, but then I'm just going to take on f5. Take on f5 anyway, or is queen c2 annoying? Let's just trade queens. Wrap all the material. Because we're up a full rook? We are up a full rook. Is there any... Can we convert, though? This is the true question. How do I I'm interested in how you get square? three points. Three points. Yeah, this That's is a question. Let's grab the open file. Could also have taken on f5. But rook e8 is nice. Rook e7 or knight f5? Rook e7. Pawns upon. It's nice that if we take on f5 and they move the knight, we can just move the knight back to g3. If that wasn't, if True. there was ever a problem there. Yeah. Um. Okay. This seems good. Now we're going to clearly get back ranked. They don't even have an entry square. You're gonna take. I would give myself a little bit of loft. Uh, Just but by... I want to be fancy. Yeah, but yeah. you know. So h3 is very reasonable. But let's play h3 and threaten takes bishop takes h6. Yeah. Okay, it is cute. They can't do a lot about it. I think black could safely resign here. Very safe. Um, give a check, probably. 
They were on five points. Interesting. So some people play faster than we do. We're so much sure how. That's true. Maybe this guy's been sandbagging. Um. Guess gonna move the bishop back. If their rook takes c2, wait for f8. Luckily, we can give checks. Which way to check first? Just go quick, Jake. Yeah. Mm. And we'll pile up on g7 at some point. It's a long tournament. Yeah, two hours. Decent amount of time. Takes with G. You want to take with, try to get them. Yeah, and then play like Rook G4. Yeah. And, or. I think I'm gonna check here and then come to G4 so I threaten. I didn't have G4, King H4, and made. Uh, yeah, exactly, rook g8. Yeah. Oh, wait. I was thinking rook g5 now, but then it just comes back. What's the cleverest way to do this? Right, I'm going to check here again. And then Got to take on a6. Because <laughs> either way they go, we'll be able to uh, threaten another checkmate pretty easily and start pushing our pawns if we... Let's not stone it accidentally. Ooh, good point. Like rook c1, rook, rook h1. Yeah. Good point. This actually Pick works. Three. Like, we can't take it, so we'll just have to play rook king f2. Yeah. So now we can, um... When they play rook f3, we can play king e2. And then they don't have any more checks because they're rook's hanging. Alright, this is very bad, but cute tactic from them. Take. I like this feature. I think this would be good in the chess. Ooh, I get annoyed by it. I like one pre move at a time. So we got three points there because of our streak, I guess. Unclear. Who else is in right now? Well, I'm very confused by their standings. Did someone have 13? Did they? I didn't see that. E5? Sure. I'd like to throw in some uh, Rubenstein Frenches at some point. Just because I've been doing some videos on that. Do people take on f7? It is a line. I get a lot of it. Yeah, I think you're supposed to play a really quick c5 against it. Uh, I looked up stuff that was that was around g6, bishop g7. Okay, there might be yeah, multiple ways. Um, I think I should just reinforce the knight. Hmm. A couple times I've regretted playing bishop f5 because... Pawn f5 would be a bit more stable. Pawn f5 isn't usually right, though. Because the d5 pawn gets really loose. Do you ever, um... I kind of miss what happened here. Do you, take on, do you ever take on c4 when they play c4? Almost never. Six. Right. I mean, if they play c4, we'll just take it and move the queen. Yeah. Now they've got an ice side pawn. I guess it's a slightly dangerous ice side pawn. Where to? 
I like A5. Poke. Maybe Rook D8 next. Yeah. I think A. A makes sense. A bit more stable. Lake White does have some attacking chances here, so we probably want to play. Though fewer without the uh, the light squared bishop. Uh, maybe Queen H5. Into tricks. Do I ever allow d5 and rook h4 there? Queen h7, maybe. No, queen h5 seems reasonable. So I have an 85. And they do not have rook h4. My rook e8 next looks normal. Yeah, I do that. Might have knight before at some opportune moment. Knight a5. Yeah. Queen b5 doesn't save them. Or just rook c5. Ooh, rook c5. Bishop c5, rook c5, knight b3. We're fine. And now I definitely want to play rook c8. Also, rook c5, you can just take with queen, right? True, yeah. Queen and defend it. I think I'm going to come here, threaten rook c8. Or bishop at four. Yeah. <sighs> I like bishop. I don't have an entry square. I kind of don't want to give up my piece that blocks their entry square, though. So I think I'm just going to play... B6? Yeah, I don't like rook 7 Or D7. Looks awkward. Would you rather, rather trade our bishop for their bishop or their knight? It's an extreme. Uh, we can almost take on e6, on e3. Maybe we can. If queen takes. No. Bishop f4, queen, queen e7, bishop g5. Or queen g5. Uh, or sorry. Rook e3, rook queen, queen, queen e3, bishop, bishop f4, four. queen f3. Queen f3. Oh, queen, queen takes g5. Five. Queen takes knight. Ooh, I think you found a nice tactic here. Also, h6 seems also pretty stable, but this might be better. I think your move just wins. Queen f7, queen f7, knight f7, I can just pull the rook back, if, or it can take, but... It does feel so loose at the back, but no, I like your tactic, that was really nice. Yeah, this is this is just working. Yeah, nice move. They should probably move the queen and try to get the rook to this to the seventh. It's hard though, because we're so so likely to have control over it. So maybe maybe queen e seven to take on a seven. Mm, but when we take on g five we're still hitting c one. Good point. So queen e7 is just going to lose more material. I well, they can play rook... Oh, I thought they could play queen c7. If we take bishop, I guess they can, and that keeps the rook effectively defended, because they're on our rook. Yeah. But we can just move our rook at that point. Or play, like, queen d7, which this doesn't get made. It just takes, turn, yeah. takes rook c8. <clears throat> oh, maybe they're, they're calculating. I want us to look at the tournament, but I'm afraid like, we'll accidentally resign. <laughs> Oh, maybe it's this one, two, three thing. This? No, that's a draw. That's a draw. Oh, this. What do you think that does? Top players. Uh, no, that's just online. Yeah. Incidentally, the viewers cannot see that because our lovely faces block it. Okay. As Duncan would say, great radio. Great radio. Great radio. Is it just me or has Duncan stopped putting out podcasts? I think you've just stopped listening to them. No, they don't put it on NateDunkton.com. They haven't had one for like a couple weeks, I don't think. Oh, really? Yeah. I've been following... All right, I'm going to take on... G5. Yeah. 
guess if we take queen, they still have no entry. I gotta move the rook. So I'll do it that way. It's hoping for rook e1, so I can play bishop d2. Maybe bishop d6 and yep. make threats. They still have no entry. Bishop, key piece. Play h6 at some point. Queen e5 trades queens. Cool. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Put the bishop on c5. Give nothing. Okay, this was dumb, but maybe rook c8. Then they can't play f4. And they don't have e6 because or d6 because of king e6. Yeah, they'll try king f5 and d6. Okay, that's probably yeah. That would have been the better move order. I want to be cute and play like rook d7 and be like this pawn end game's winning. Let's let's not. Let's not. Almost giving them something here. You could also take him with the king. On d7, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Bring the king around to c7. All the pawns are defended. He's going to put check. We'll come back. This should be five. Which way would you take here? I think I'm gonna take rook. Not sure. It's really tough. Yeah. Where are we? When you play one of those like moves Fifth. at the end trying to catch them pre-moving, you shouldn't attack something that's defended. You yeah. Should attack undefended. Maybe they things. thought that you could move like somehow you would move the king. So key idea is we're going to trade off one pair of knights because we're a little cramped, and f6 is a nice square. And then play c5. Alright, here I suspect we can take, take. Bishop g5 is probably most annoying. Okay, so we don't have the whole b6 set up, so I think instead we should go for c5. This is a little... Like how we're getting our light square bishop out. I think we play queen c7, bishop d7, bishop c6. Maybe they play g6, they have bishop g3, f4. and bishop f4. Yeah, oh, I guess they're not defending it, yeah. I'm never too worried about this doubling. That's I'm always nice to stuff. just not have to be tied to that. Yeah. Just knowing that you can live with that double pawn. Yeah. So here, yeah, bishop d7, bring a rook to the d-file. We get bishop d7 free now. That's an interesting way to check swing over, though. Gotcha. We can... Oh, okay. So we... maybe bishop d7 and then bishop e7. Maybe we will get worried. If they couldn't play queen h4, I'd love the idea of b5. And then rook b8. Or bishop b7. But queen h4 is annoying me. Queen e5 doesn't help. Could play knight d5. I don't like it. Yeah, it seems like it's moving a piece away from the defense. Yeah. Maybe just bishop e7 now. Meet queen h4 with h6. What was wrong with... Um... So bishop, so queen e5, we do get tempo against the bishop. But they're playing queen h4 anyway. Queen e5, queen h4. h6. Bishop f4. Queen f5. Probably a little unnecessary. Knight g3, they have a lot of pieces near our king. Yeah. I think but I'm I just going to play bishop e7. Okay, that's fair. I want to find. Non. There's also ninety five. Ninety five. Bishop takes. Feel uncomfortable knight. with the isolated. Okay. I think I'd rather them sack this piece. Nine. 
then queen e5. Queen e5. Probably queen f5. Yeah, I think queen f5. Maybe knight g4 next. Bishop takes queen takes, threaten things to g5. They could play a king h1, rook g1, g4. Well, I do intend to stop that with knight g4. I guess they just moved to uh, h3, maybe. Do they really have squares to move to? The queen. It's kind of unfortunate our pieces are off sides on c8 and a8. You can also play um, no, knight h7, bishop b4. Do they have a threat? Can we play bishop d7 to c6? I definitely don't mind if they take the b pawn. I could also move the rook away to prepare bishop f8, but I don't know that that actually helps much. I think their queen's not fantastic here. I think I want to play bishop d7. I think we have the time for it. Maybe h3 by them now. h3 playing g4 next. Mm -hmm. This is just letting us trade off pieces. And then playing queen g5. Is there a cool way to do it though? Is the way to do that. I saw it like kind of last minute. Huh. Blundered this. Now I wish we'd move the rook. Maybe play an HG7, keep the game going. Yep. Maybe we have a lot of pieces. I mean, we have three pieces for the queen. They have also a lot of pawns. It's true. Let's play quick, though. If something like rook d1, I think we have to play rook d8, because we can't let a rook get to the uh, the third. Well, now we're threatening rook g8, maybe. And getting our king to f8. Which would be much safer than on the edge of the board. I'll come to f6, buddy. I'm also not opposed to just taking the draw here. You're saying with one minute versus three in a lost position? Never. You didn't want to just go king h7 and say, hey, good game, you played well. You could no. also play knight h6. But I mean, so now they ha we actually have some real threats. We might still have real threats. Maybe rook h? Yeah, I mean, we can hint at rook takes h2. And then rook g. I mean, rook takes h2 is a threat. They can possibly just give up the queen for the two rooks, though. Rook h2, king h2, rook h8, queen h3. Yeah, let's set the queen away first. That was the initial intent. So that there's no um, queen h3 blocking. They're in trouble now. Yeah. They might have queen e2 and then try and queen e5. True. So if we take on... Okay. Same, same idea here. Because okay, now... So rook h2, queen e5, and they control h8. Yeah, that's the idea. So, so we'll have bishop f6. We have and bishop... And their queen has no way to... Uh, we have bishop, e, bishop d6 now. That does look like the better way to do it. I think rook h2 20 seconds. Work, though. Okay. I think rook h2 did work, though. 
probably. Yeah, it shouldn't take longer. I could call on the time. I clock so many of these games just because I like start talking and thinking about something. So basically playing Rook H2 no matter what next. Threatening, yeah. threatening me. They might, so they play, they might try to defend F3. So something like... Queen E3. We can just take with the knight, so... Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. Six. Yeah. I can play on Knight G3, maybe. That's a lot of material to give up. I just got to play quick. I'm going to do it. Just because it simplifies the game. Move the rook. Threaten f5. Good call. Premium takes. Yeah. Wow. Seriously? I'm making sure they can't. But why did they, they need, do they need to? Alright, well we got the draw eventually. <laughs> Sorry about that. I did not see a bishop e4 there. So what should we have played when we played uh, knight takes h5? Just queen g6, I guess? I don't remember. I think queen g6. <clears throat> Let's try to get some wins. Ooh, that's somehow a crazy we're, idea. Somehow we're 23rd. I keep seeing bishop g4 here. Do you want to take knight or queen? I take knight, but okay. And by I say, I mean, or not by I take knight. I mean, I used to take knight. I think bishop f four is supposed to be the sharpest line here, where we castle opposite sides and go ballistic. All right, they seem to agree. I never know where to put the light squared bishop though. Do you have to decide yet? Okay, we castle onto it. C five probably knight f five and knight b five. Uh, that d6 pawn looks should be a target. Maybe f3? f3 and then support e4 and g4. Yeah. Let's go for it. Knight a4 maybe? No, c5 and bishop d7. Okay. You can, yeah. Uh, knight f5. Ooh, that's probably a better way to do it, because opening the file is good. Does knight b5 just win the pawn, though? Yeah. King b1, knight c1. Uh, maybe queen b6, knight takes d6, rook d8. So then I have e5. I'm going to take queen. Because their queen doesn't seem to have a comfortable way to stay alive. Rook c8. Probably knight g3. Okay, that's a rook. Yeah, that is. Do I want to play rook d8 and try to get the uh, pins along the back rank? I feel like king e7, I have to go to h8, and then it like gets a little uncomfortable for me. So I think I'm just going to bring the knight out. Yeah. Maybe knight f d4. I like having f5 as a square. Okay. I was... didn't want to block the file. But I guess yeah. we were probably still going to get there. Hmm. Seems like a pawn. Due to the brilliant knight on d4, we don't have to double. Oops, I'm drying the screen. Um, d4 or c5? Doesn't matter. Let's go to d4 and not get pinned on the c file ever.
Yeah. G6, ninety three. Yeah. G six knight rook t three first. Rook t six first, maybe is no. Well per year. Mm. I feel they just moved the rook and then they're gonna win time against our rook. Okay. I think we just need to play these ones fast. We've been a little bit too technical. Lackadaisical. We've been like trying to get it perfect, but we just need time. We've only given up one draw and we're 23rd. So people are playing quickly. That's true. That is true. Watch out for Rook, C1. Knight B2 seven. incoming. Does it do anything? Unclear. Right now they're... I kind of want to play F4 so that if we double on the 7th, they can't just be annoying with Rook F6. Their Knight's kind of trapped. Yeah. So we could play like Rook A5 and A3 and just get it that way, but... So then they have the knight c4 coming out of this. Yeah. Watch out for the rook again. Okay. By the rook, I mean knight c3. This seems weird. Still don't have any entry squares with their rook, so. so I'm gonna try to get a pawn to f6. So, give me a check. Might be made, but they can't play knight a4 and threaten knight c3 again here. Hmm. Pop play f6. Pop play f6. I was thinking if I king g7, maybe h4, h5, h6 first. But how do they stop? Rook C8. Right? Rook C1. Mm. Yeah, let's poke. Maybe Rook C5 next. Can allow Knight T3 if they play Rook E8. Okay, make a move. Yeah, these are just gotta play quick because we need to catch up on games against him. Now rook c8 is better. Knight d3 then just rook c8. Yeah. King g6, check. Rook g7. This is a bad way of going about it. Hopefully they allow me. Cool. Next match. Get back on that streak. Right. Streaks. Streaks matter. How are these sixteen hundreds like doubling us up in points? All right. Let's go all quick. I should play d four next game. Ah, uh, maybe they're getting these uh boards. Yeah. Good points. All right. We'll Let's play your one. Do you have a preference between like, uh, knight c3 and knight f3 move orders? No. I, I mean, I guess I... Because they, do. like, depend which you commit to against structures like this. I guess maybe a knight c3. I mean, I do do knight c3 more often. Bishop b2 instead of bishop. No, they, we get them to them to play b5 for free. g5. No, um, I'm saying on bishop c4 they can play b5. Right, oh, true. Which they kind of want to do. Yeah. Like, not, don't make a weakness on the king side, but play for queen side play. They've done something else here that I'm a bit confused by, but. I want to play e5. dxc5, dxc5, knight xc5, queen d8, king d8, knight e5, and bishop f7. And I think we get bishop f7 justifications. Okay. Yeah, go for it. They might have just g4. 
but if they do, I'm hoping we have crazy cool sacks. Because against a fourteen hundred, you need to take like a lot of risks. Yes, yeah, you wanna you jeopardize. wanna maximize the risk here. Yeah. If g four, maybe knight h four to f five. There's the whole entire thing with like bishop on g four. Yeah, knight knight h four with ideas of taking on f seven, king f seven, queen h five, getting knight to g six. Yeah. Yeah, like king f eight, knight g six. Yeah. So this is what you want against someone rated almost a thousand points less. Oh yeah. Crazy complication. I guess we can't go immediately to h4 and 1. Maybe knight p6 is good. Defending the pawn with the bishop and attacking our bishop, yeah. Yeah. This is interesting. And the knight's hit. We can take on g4. I don't see a problem. Brilliant opening, never in doubt. Perfect risk to take. So what do they do with this bishop? King f8? I think so. We always have like bishop e6, knight g6 ideas, but... I think we just take on d... Eh, I don't like opening things up. Maybe f4 there? Maybe just go back to stupid gambit mode and castle? d5 is a little Maybe early. bishop f4. I want to keep my pawn. I think I'm going to play f4. Okay. And I guess d5, bishop d3. I mean, we are up a pawn. All right. Which is probably the least important part of this position. But I don't want to allow knight f6. Let's not let them develop. So maybe for them d5 and then c5. Probably just bishop d3, bishop e3. Then they can never pressure our main pawn, so I feel that it can't be scary. But... We have 12 points. How do you think we got that? What do you think the point value of each of our games was? So we had two wins at two points. That's four. And then... We had two, I thought we had two wins and a draw. So, are we two other wins and a draw? I'm not sure. We definitely have a draw. We had two wins, I think, then a draw. And then some number more wins. Maybe they just random number generate. It's very suspicious. Maybe if queen b6, I want a castle queen side, but that might be insane. Maybe b5. So rational. Well, we're still giving up a bunch of pawns this way, so I like it. Do we ever after knight d6 have knight g6 and queen e6? We can throw in uh, dc5. And we can throw in uh, a5 if we want as well. Yeah, that's but a nice inclusion. We could have even thrown in both. Oh no, because they have knight d3 there. Good call. Because now they can't defend easily c5, so they'll be able to take it with, and defend with the bishop. Before they would have been able to play. Oh, okay. I was thinking just takes on c5 then. Let them take our knight. Knight's attacked. So c5. Might you want to play like knight f7, bishop g6, knight g6, some combo with these moves, queen e6. c4 incoming. I've actually been pretty good at predicting moves. So yeah, far. you have, you have. Should we play bishop g6 and hope they take Look. it and allow mate? Um, it's mate. How do they defend f7? Yeah, that's tough. Those knights are good. Can we get a pretty finish? So they'll probably play knight e7. Then we'll take on f7, threaten e6. Okay. Uh, oh, that's not checking. Could take on h5, but that's very passe and might walk into pins. Bishop takes f7, knight f7, knight g6, jack, king g8, queen takes e6. Can they defend f7? Queen f8? Knight e5 no. there. Knight e5 there. Yeah. 
Knight e7, king h7, we don't have queen g6. Huh. Okay, I take an h5? Yeah, I was looking at f5. f5 is kind of nice. f5, gf6, knight g6, or f6, king g8. Takes an e6. Threatening e7. Maybe too fancy. I mean, I think we can play knight. Bishop h5 and not be worried. Let's start with bishop h5. When they move the knight and everything is pinned. Yeah, but, well, then we'll be upset, but... They don't have many squares for g4 the knight. is dice. Dice? Hot take. F5 would have been fine. Yeah, probably. Hot take. We have a really good position. But I'm not about taking risks as we've seen this game. It's about practical chess. Just take a pawn. I wish we'd gotten the mate, but that would have been an amusing way to end the game. How do people get points so quickly? You should be treating this like bullet. Though maybe not now, maybe once you've got a streak you should play at a reasonable speed. Like not going as fast yeah, as Yeah, we can. need to pile up wins. That may be kind of obvious, but we need to pile up wins. <laughs> the strategy is win all the games. Win all the games, win them quickly so you get more than other people. It's genius. I really want to just queen e6 to work. Yeah, that would have been a cute way to finish. Knight g6. I'll take this finish, by the way. So should we have played it here? I'm just going to take f5. Yeah. And then queen takes f5. Threat. Do we have knight f6 there, though? I think they have knight f6 there. Okay, keep on playing. Anyways, should we have played... Um, I'll look at the position. I know this is terrible, but should we play queen e6 here? It's cute. Probably not. Are we threaten checkmate. I know, but they have a check. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh well. 29. What do we have? 15? Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like so many. Did they win 8 in a row? Is that what that means? Probably. Yeah. Uh, do you get more each one? Alright, so we're supposed to play D4 this time. That could explain it. That could explain it. So we really gotta get get rolling. Uh, you playing AC3? Yeah. Okay. And then E3? Yep. Give me moves. I don't know Bishop the line. Bishop D3. Yeah. There are a lot of things. I think Knight F3 here is fine. I, I, go I know there's F3 and Knight E2 as well as Knight F3, so... Castles. I, I basically do bishop d2 and queen c2, and then I move the knight and I play for f4. Queen c2 or bishop d2? Bishop first. d2. Okay. I feel like black has a fine game. a3? Yeah, that's what. The Nimzo is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Nimzo is Maybe this is not the most challenging. Um. b4? I want the two bishops. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we're getting this not ideal for on structure, but we're gonna have plenty of. I think this bond structure is okay. It's just gonna be hard to pressure the backwards pawn without we will having peace plot. Um, work d six. Where does the knight ever go? Maybe they play rook c8. Maybe bishop b5, bishop c6? Yeah, or some bishop a6 order, depending on where the rooks are. But one of those squares. I think a6 here. Maybe not. Maybe b5. Yeah, b5 seems yeah. good. Because the knight really is uh, not a glorious piece. Bishop c6 and rook a7. Just take a pawn. As long as they can't pester our rook and then like with something like knight e8. Or bishop's take, on. Yeah. yeah. They can play a rook d8 here, but then we take and take on a7. 
Once A7 falls, then B6 falls, and our doubled pawns will very slowly advance with all due haste. Bishop D4. So say so, like we're like five, I think. Rook D8? Rook B, uh, Rook B7? <laughs> Words. I'm not seeing our threat. So Rook B7, idea, take knight, take pawn. I think there's also um, knight C3, B C3, Rook D3, maybe we have Bishop E8. Same our king. Rook c1. But I think bishop e8. Okay. So like force their king to the corner and be threatening e6. The end. Oh, rook, uh, rook b8 is just one out. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I almost made a good move. Sorry. It's okay. We're going to have lots Three of Three reshameful. Probably bishop f5. Yep. Um, we control the nine squares, so it's going to be yeah. hard for them to get it out. And we threaten f6. Do we want to take it? Probably. If we get it with free here. Do the check. Let's check. It might be mate. They move. can go to h6 without being mated, but now they are... They can't move it. Okay. They can't move that knight, which is They can play knight nice. g6. Okay. I think we just, just advance... I don't know, just advance the pawn. Just win f6. Well, they, they, can, pawn. they can win our b pawn. How? Just moving the rook over. But our rook comes back in time. Ah, but I hung a piece. Sorry. Oh, man. Deepest apologies. This is still these. We have a lot of puns. As long as you don't hang a rook as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. Uh. Start the rolling. Maybe, yeah. I mean, I guess we can go king e3, and if I check king d2. So if we play e5, is that worth anything? I think that, end up, that might end up queening, right? So e5, let's say I take on f2. So I think they play rook e2 against e5. Yeah, okay. Not great. Okay. I'm going to defend it this turn. Okay. I think king e3 is also a reason. Rook c3, king d2. Hang after? No. Let's go this way for now. All of the hangings. Uh, I want to hit the knight, I think. Knight g3, b5. There's knights no longer near the pawns that matter. This is my dream. Because rook f2, rook d6, and if knight f2, it takes them a while to extricate. And they can actually just keep pushing the pawn because... Yeah, because the, if the rook takes it, their knight hangs. So they might be able to knight take on e4. This just loses? Is no. b7? Rook b2? Rook e8? Oh, I'm rook sorry. Takes. No, my god. I thought their king would for some reason back rank. I'm going to hit their knight, try to get behind the pawn. Our analysis, not amazing. If not they, not our finest hour. Yeah. If they go knight c5, don't go knight c6. Rook c6. If they go knight c6, I'm going to check on d7. Because if their king comes to the 6th, b7, they can't get behind. Hmm. Not the best. Man, sorry about the piece I own. 
I mean, I'm just seeing figments of my imagination. Should I take an H7? Let's play B7 first. I was thinking about rook C7. Oh, that was probably, yeah. But we can actually do it now too, right? Yeah. Yeah, because King D6, Rook C6. Oh, we got there. No, I just take the knight. If they go there, we have Rook H6. Yeah, it's brutal. Okay, sub-optimal play. This was all opening theory. We had it the whole way. Did we get three points that time? I think we got three points that time. I thought we were on 15. Ooh, we might have been on 15. That seems plausible. Check the tape. The real challenge here is uh, learning how YouTube works. Or how uh, chess.com works. Also how YouTube works. Also how YouTube works. And I'll play against bad pawns. Yeah. And black slightly better after eight minutes. Yep. Yeah, just develop the pieces. I'm curious what happens if ninety five. Are you okay with that? Yeah. They did prevent the whole B6 blockade the C pawn thing. For whatever that's worth. Let's move our pieces around instead. If given a chance. This actually is decently effective at stopping us from getting at the pawns. Yeah, maybe C6. There's also 94. Yeah. I think I want to start with C6. The pawn grubber in me. Like, say, 5. I know 94 hits a pawn, too, but I think queen C2, they get the tempo back. It's now 94. Threaten the queen D2 and knight C3. Yeah. There's also, now that we move the knight away from the dark diagonal, I can play queen H4, queen G5. True. Yeah, I like that. Or F5 and F4. I'm going to start with queen D2. Yeah. Knight C3. Those attack two things. Yeah. It's hard to go wrong when you attack two things. And this is not a position where the bishops give a ton of compensation. Um, I can so take an a2 take and then a4. Way. Do we have better? Probably not. Yeah. And we're going to get bishop c4 four at the end, potentially. Depending on where they go, yeah. So they'll take king probably, and then we won't put... Yeah. And then we just got to make sure our knight isn't trapped. Okay, that is not good for now. So if rook c2, rook d8. Okay, bishop c4. And resigns. But most likely there are like 20 moves. The Budapest lives! What an opening. I didn't know Jeremy played the Budapest. We all learn things. So how many of the of people we know now play the Budapest? I think Riley plays it when he remembers it exists. Because when you played an opening for a long time, yeah, we might have gotten a disconnect. Nice. Sweet. We got four. So, do you get four after the first? <laughs> Maybe the way they got to three was they drew the first one and then... One second one? I don't even know. So bishop f4 and knight f3 are the main moves. Now we play bishop c5 to 4 c3 so the bishop can't come out. And we pile up on the e5 pawn. Uh... We want them to play a move like h3, driving away our knights. We take as long as we can before regaining the pawn. But at some point we have to. Uh, here I think we take an f3 and play the other knight to e5, and they usually play bishop e2, and it transposes to they had taken. And now oh, black has this six, fun yeah. rook a6, h6 idea, and then we try to checkmate them. They seem to be playing quickly, but I ain't scared. We're going to threaten queen h4. They are aware of the queen h4. So we could play d6 to bring the bishop to 
f5, we could play c6 first, but their knight might go to f5 anyway. So I think d6. I was looking at b5, bishop b7. That's a creative idea. But we can now play a queen d7 to h3, I think, in some lines. Which is like a goofy queen move, because you don't think of bringing it there before. I think I like it. You know when you like remember an idea exists that you haven't looked at for a long time, so then you instantly play it without seriously considering its work? But queen h3 looks very threatening. Not exactly sure what they do. They might have to play like h4, which looks just. Then queen h3 and g5. Yeah. Man, I like the Budapest, the Rook so. So enjoyable. Maybe we should lift two rooks while we're at it. Two rooks? Rooks bring the other rook to e6. Join the party. And I like that any time white plays f4, they just make the e3 pawn so soft. So I think queen h3. Queen h3. And then when we play knight g4, we'll have the rook Bishop on. e3. Though the knight on d5 temporarily defends, but probably not for long. So take it and play c6. Take it and play bishop g4 and c6 in some order, I think. Hmm. Okay. Do you have a better one? No, this just seems good, and I'm on the play quickly. c6, knight c7. So maybe bishop g4 first? Yeah, let's ask the question. Where are you going? They're going to play queen c3 at some point, and we'll make them. All will be well. I think they should try knight c7. I'm gonna take it. Yep. I'm gonna play c6. Because if they play like knight c3, we can still possibly take on e3. So I might get back ranked at the end, so maybe not. So maybe like knight c3, just rook e6. Just say. How do you defend here? I like this queen d7 h3 idea. Yeah, that's definitely seems powerful. Here's the takes on h2 idea we have to remember. Yeah, that's key key point. Um, it's most efficient. Yeah. So at any time you can play something like s6. And if they take with the knight, then they give up the defender on e3. Yeah. So okay, let's play f6 here. It is check. But I think queen f6, rook e3, king d2, rook f2 is checkmate. Right? Another beautiful one in the Budapest. I love these Budapests. They're so smooth. Rook a6, man. Oh, we yeah, got five we... points. We got five points. So it's all about the streaks. Someone has 38, apparently. A 759 player. Pretty firm. I am suspicious. Sandbagging? Question mark. Yeah. Just joins and... That well, seems if you, like... 759. How would you even get... It's 759, <laughs> if, even if you just like made an account today and you... Just crushed a couple games, you'd be at like 1800, 1900. So chess.com asks you how familiar with our, you are with chess and sets your initial rating based on what you say. Um, this is my end game line against the perk. Don't cry. Uh, I don't have knight d5 yet, but if they castle, knight d5 is really good. They should play knight g4 and force king e1. Now I think white just develops. And says, I have a nice space advantage. Probably knight e4. It made d6 very weak. But do I have to occupy it? I don't think so. How's it going? Are you abandoning soon? No.
I know people hate endgames, but if you just get all of the space... That knight is running out of squares. Knight d4, knight f8, and I take any 6, and then b6, and hang f4 at the end. They're probably going to throw an h6 at some point. Let's just play slow. Easy does it. I'm gonna pile up on the D file. And say you have no space, man. Maybe G4 at some point. So I might have to open a second flank eventually. Or H4, H5? Nah, G4 first, probably. Don't open a second flank. Ejected. It's a little annoying. We're gonna play h3 at some point, though. And I think That's that will open favorably to us. C2. I guess we're not even at a to. Ooh. Oh. That's a square. It's a rook. <laughs> Bishop b7 hits my rook, but it does nothing to save it. Can either move my rook, or maybe take any 8 and then g7. Watch they have bishop f3 at the end. Huh. So maybe just take some on e8. Bishop h1. Knight h1. And this close to position that their knights might be better than our bishops. Okay, so they still have bishop f3. I'll play h3. Open a second front. <laughs> nice endgame line. Was that sarcastic? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wounded. I'm going to keep my knight hitting g4. Uh, it's such a lovely position. I'm gonna play g4 next. Yeah, so taking on h2 is not great. Do they need to do that? They could have played h5. Yeah, I think they should have played h5. Because now our pawns roll. And we poke at the weaknesses. Yeah. Sadly, cannot take on g6 if they take on g4. But the position's good again. After whatever it is that happened. I can just take. Get that fast. I wonder if we had rook h5. I could play like knight e4, or g4. But I think I should. Uh, then our knight never gets in the game. I think I'm going to move the knight up here. Yeah, we're also not like. The dark square bishop is the bishop that we want traded off. That's true. Um, I like keeping d4 under control. But knight e4 doesn't quite have a square, because then I'd want to play a bishop f5 and knight d6. Maybe knight e4 can come to c3. And then think about taking on f5, because I can occupy d5. Seems like that's a little bit away now. So I'm going to play knight c3 next. similar repositioning ideas. I think I do need to rip on f5 soon. I think I should rip, not allow knight d4 to be super powerful. That cuts their rook out of the game. b6 is a little loose because I can take on c5 after. Yeah, now rook. I think just knight b6. Their rook have an infiltration? No. And I was thinking I might turn that one, but I guess d4, it was too hard. I think just bishop d4, rook d4, 
Maybe rook f3 and they have nothing. Knight to d5 do. also defends spot. Ah, true. Yeah, that is a nicer way to do it. And that knight is now not contestable. I'm just gonna push my e pawn. If they don't, if they move their rook to d4. Right, the e6, e7. Uh, yeah, not worried about the h. It's the best way to move around to attack their pawns. Maybe just come this way, because their king is no way through. Can they sack an e5? I don't think so. But they should consider it. Is this not just losing? Why not just king? I could do it that way, yeah. Yeah, for some reason I thought I still couldn't enter. This is a bad way to sack it, I think. We gotta be careful. We'll have... No, I don't think we need that. I think we'll have knight to e6, taking the... But if they get to b3, then my pawns fall. So knight e6. Knight e6 now. Yeah. Uh... King c3, knight c5, yeah, maybe we don't king need b4. This. And then just king f5. points. Six. Six. So yeah, piling on points. Winning games really turned out to be the correct strategy. Alright, we're top ten. And there's only one person ahead of us with a better streak. We need to beat people that have streaks. That's unfortunate they keep getting paired down. Yeah. Maybe just everyone just gets paired, like, really quickly. I've been playing the advanced French on this. I think we need to play quickly. I think okay. we need to get, like, quick Speed. Points. Because we only have, like, four more games at ten minute pace. We've been still playing so like we've been talking and then we've also had that draw. Yeah. Uh, we'd be three. Ten minute also, solid. Yeah, no, good line. Nothing wrong with this for black. It's hard to find active points of attack for white. Come around. I four was also possible, but yeah. F four is in consideration. We knight c four first. Yeah, that looks good. Conceivably c three at some point is our other pawn lover. Maybe a four eight five. There's also there's also F four Pontex F four and E five. Knight D five there. What's Bishop C one? Queen F two to G three. I'm gonna play Bishop C one. Maybe Bishop D two. Think about uh, Bishop A five. Just think this diagonal is not as good, and I do want to be able to take on F four. Is that the better bishop? Can we take it then? Okay. Queen f2? Leave it for a sec. They play bishop h3, we take on f4. Sure. But they don't want b3 that weak. I wish I could take play e5 and queen e4 in one move. Takes, pawn takes, e5, bishop b7, g3. Do we have any attacking possibilities there? Probably not, hi. I don't. Do you have a strong preference? No. 
Oh, well, this move, because now we can't play G3. Okay, well, that's nice. I have four probably next. Unless we have to defend B3. Or not. I think cake and then. Maybe. Let's get cramped by F4. Then come back to E1. Maybe play for B4. E5 might not be trivial for them to defend. Yeah, this seems suspicious. Also, bishop to G5. Yeah, I was considering that one too. There's Which not so much G5 as a thread now. True. I assume we're taking back G5, not on F8. Yeah. They might be able to play rook, quick rook B8. <laughs> on f6. Yeah, I mean, that seems solid. We'll at least have the f6 weakness. Yeah, and I'll play queen h4 probably. Okay, I can take on e5. Then takes, takes, and they get b3. I get c5. I think this is enough. How am I taking back, though? Do I have to take back f1 for that to work? Yeah. I, I mean, with the king on f1. Hmm. But I don't think that should be a disaster. Do you see a problem? No. Like, queen f7, king g1, rook f8, queen g3. I think I cover it. Bishop c4, b c4. I mean, it's, it's not lovely. I throw knight five. We can play knight. Uh, what about knight d seven? Knight d seven. Okay. Yeah, that seems to work. And if rook c eight, rook c five. Rook c five. I was thinking knight c five because the knight can come back to b three, but rook c five looks better. Yeah, good call. Yeah, nice move. And if they play, we do have to defend the knight because they have bishop g8. Mm, good point. So for rook d8, maybe rook c7. What about knight b6 if I on? Just keep it. Yeah, and their bishop can't harass our others. You can play a5. Yeah, good call. Uh, let's play a5, not rook c8. Alright, yeah. Threatening rook c8. Uh, well, we want to get the king over one square to protect d3. Yeah, the king would be better on e2. So, king h7. Because rook c8, rook c8, knight c8, bishop b1, e5, bishop d3, e6, bishop b5, e7, followed by knight d6, king g8, knight d6, that probably wins. Or we could just play king f2. <laughs> king f2 looks good. Yeah, it's the coward's way out. <clears throat> yeah, maybe your move is better. Well, we can do it now. Now we've wasted a turn. Or we're behind a... Or we're behind a turn. Oh, right. Okay, now it's just okay. okay. Cool.
When I misclick on a pre-move, I'm always afraid I'm gonna like pre-move to like the wrong square, and they're just gonna be able to take the rook and do something without any cost. Yeah. Oh, check. Might be made. Oh, maybe they can run over towards this. So let's cover squares. I think they should go for the eight pawn. D5 and King D4. Yeah. And then they can't. Easy. Well, they can't get to any of the squares they need to get to. Oh, well, they could sack the bishop to, to make a run. Um, Let's play quickly. Okay. You want to play g3? Yeah, g3 is good. I mean, anything with speed is good here. Just because we need to get these, these games in. Yeah, now they're in. Also, I have six these. Yep. Yeah. Hey, that did work. Oh no, it didn't cancel the pre move. Okay. I still don't know how to cancel pre moves. This is my. Let's do it this way. D7, obviously, also crushing. But why push one pawn when you can push like six? Check on d7. I refuse. Check on d7. I see. Let's see. That's 757 on a streak of 11 leaving the tournament. Just ahead of a 758 rated player. Very confused by all this. Can you? Okay, we should look at this person afterwards. Bishop g5 hangs a pawn. I get six. It's like a tango. Maybe That's h6 okay. at some point. Let's just not have any troubles. It's a little passive, but... It's like a tango, but our knight's not good yet. Maybe knight e7, rook e8, knight f8. Get like a six tempo down tango. It's usually okay. Okay, so we're going for a four. If we can occupy e5, we're usually pretty happy. Do um, we have a nice way to do so? Move the knight back to d7. X y m. Like I said, six tempo down. Because then they can just like never move their pawns. That's hard for them to create too much kingside initiative when their own pawns are blocking all their pieces. I also like in some world bishop d7, queen c8, bishop takes h3. Yeah, there's definitely a world where that's good. I like the world where I take on c4, I think. Maybe bishop d4. Let's just say I will always have a piece on e5 no matter what. Don't need pawns. Not about pawns. About e5. The one true square. Maybe bishop e7, e5. b5, I mean, with rook b8. Also, knight, knight h5, five. yeah. Yeah, now you try last turn, might have been really nice. Turns out, h3, and then giving up the f-pawn, it's not a good combination. 
That's very true. Could also consider taking back bishop and then playing knight h5, hoping to take on e2 and then knight g3. That's true. Yeah. I think knight h5 is usually reasonably mapped by queen f3. We get knight h5 now at tempo. That's true. Queen h queen e5 is nice. Yeah, the queen's good there. And the queen supports h5. So maybe queen d4. What I like about this kind of structure is white's e4 pawn is just oh, bad. Queen d4, knight g3. I mean, I think knight it's takes f4. Their idea is rook takes queen takes e5, I assume. But like, g6. Yeah. Rook f1. I guess take bishop. Yeah. It's gonna be a pull up on. Should probably throw in rook f1 at some point. Maybe queen e3. We don't have time for rook f7, and we force them off the potentially dangerous diagonal. Maybe queen d5, keep an eye on those light squares for them. You know what I am deep down, Ben? A knit. No, I think we're supposed to be a knit in this position. Because this is just a winning position where you need to minimize the risk. Takes twice, queen e2 at the end. Probably should play queen e2 next anyway, because the rook and bishop are both loose. Rook e5? That makes more sense. I didn't count their uh, queen squares. So probably queen f3. And then can we win up an exchange? Who knows? So check. <laughs> Rook f1, queen takes f1. Or rook d5, either one works. Rook d5 is better, right? I think queen have... Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Ooh, strong opponent. So first over 2,000, yeah? Yeah. We're not playing d4s this game, this tournament. I've been an e4 player on this account. I'm trying to trick people into thinking I'm an e4 player. Let's not do what we did last time, which was the imaginary uh, 4 <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, our finest hour. d4 and f4 with a nice on f6 yet. Free move f4, <laughs> yeah. So last time we played f4 there, and that was not great. That was... But based yeah. on the principle that you can only move a piece once in the opening. I wonder if you can play knight e2 there, like you can do in the other kind of position for black, where black plays knight e7. Hmm, <laughs> that would be funny. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know the position you mean. No one else does, so it's not No one thing. else does. <laughs> F4. Where am I going with it? F5. I suppose. Sure, why not? Queen H5. Do we take first? Queen H5, Knight G6, EF5 is very good. Right. Oh, bishop, be, bishop B6. Oh, we just take the bishop because it's pinned. Yeah. yeah. So Knight G6, EF5, Queen H4, I think, is their only down. Just put all the pieces at and point them at their game. Yeah. Okay. Then move the bishop and the rook and point all the pieces at the game. Yeah. yeah. D five should probably be played. Yeah. And then like bishop d three and maybe f six. F six is such a big threat though. 
Okay, this is reasonable by them. But we are now of material. Not but by they traditional got, they counts, got rid of but like, by the proper way of counting. Um, they're threatening queen d4, so I'm just going to take... This is fun. Doesn't quite get anywhere. They're gonna play c6 and d5. Does this order give us any tricks, though? Probably not. There's rook f1. But I don't think that does it. Yeah, so, okay, I'm going to move the knight. F4, or E3. You go to F4. For reasons. So, yeah, so now they need to move. That's nice. I assume D5. They never over T6. We can rook lift here. Sometimes. Yeah, I was thinking rook f3 coming. So we really don't have back rank issues. Well, uh, we can get them though. So 9h5 though. Almost 9h5. Should we make a luff move? Just one, or do we play rook f3? And say we can block on f1. Bishops are so good against the rooks that I think we'd be quite happy if they traded their bishop for a knight. Do they have threat? I hit the bishop. I thought little, the rook might be a little bit loose, but it's not. This is shakier than it could be, because we're not... We we're pretty tied down to the bishop. Maybe g3 was better than h3. Maybe we should look to play g3 at some point. But our bishop has no squares, so that's the other problem. So h4 is a potential bailout if it gets bad. We can possibly just take... We can move, we can move the bishop now. You want us to take an e3? On f5. On f5. Possibly. I really like the bishops, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep them. If they're intending rook e4, I'm not too worried about that. I think we could have taken on f5. Yeah, probably. I just think the bishops play so well against rooks that I'd like to um, keep them afloat. They're getting a lot here, though. Yeah, c3. c3? b3. Yeah, b3 is better. a6, a4. We can also maybe take on d5. That is worth considering. Knight d5, bishop g5, h g5. I think we can. Yeah, and we threaten knight f6 too, so. I think this is good. Yeah, I think you're right. Nice find. Bring in the tactical thunder. Rooks, yeah, knights come in f6, the pawn's losing f5, this is just losing a rook. Oh, maybe they can come around. I was thinking they could come around rook e1 to d1, but they cannot. Because I would have rook takes f5 there. Yeah. Yes, okay, we're cleaning this up. Yeah, no, this is very nice spotting from you. Just gonna come... Maybe bishop f3 was better to stop on. 
be annoying with infiltration or most annoying with infiltrations. Is that simplest? I think so. So we'll give a check, we'll go king h2, okay, never mind. I think it's important their king can't come over too easily. Ooh, actually, no, this was, uh, now I need to stop king entry. But I'm going to go to d3. Yeah. It's easy for us to sack the bishop for any pawns. <laughs> yeah. With any of the king side pawns. Yeah. It's bishop 3. And king c4, and they run out of moves. still doesn't have any entry. Okay. No, let's come back, yeah. Alright, okay. So they'll play h6 next, but it doesn't matter. You know what? Let's give them nothing. Match. Up to fourth. With eighteen still, minutes to go. Still behind these uh still behind these mighty seven hundreds. Who won thirteen games in a row. Ooh, but Werbin Show Life has uh, dropped a game. This is like some sort of bullshit. Shh. Four knights, will they go Scotch or Spanish? They will go bad. They will go fork trick. We're going to play knight e7 if possible, though. But I bet they take an f7. Black just gets a really nice center here. And you go king g8 on check, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. And then h6, and the knight will look This ridiculous. is like a line in, that, in four knights, but for white. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Or actually, g5 is kind of hard to meet. Mm. Yeah, I mean, probably that, is. That's the line in the four knights. Is it? Yeah, or g5, and it's like, they don't have good squares. I'm going to leave it for now, but that does make some sense. I kind of want to play queen f6, bishop h3, rook f8. Maybe bishop g4, a knight d4. I like, I like the queen adding pressure. Defending and attacking. Pretending I connect the rooks faster. He's going to try to castle with queens, I think. Yeah. Bishop d2. Well, now just... This is so hard. Yeah. Almost rook e8. Maybe rook e8 and then e4. e8, e4. Yeah. So h3. Wish my rook was defended, but... Bishop h5, g4, bishop g6. e4 is still coming. This is very tough to defend. So bishop d2. But sadly, we only outrate our opponent by 998. I'm just a wizard right now. Yeah, you're spotting that. <laughs> and you're predicting that. That's what I mean, my predictions, my more future Did forecasting. You predict G5 here. My forecasting is good. No, you didn't predict G5, because G5 was never going to be played, obviously. If they take, how do we take back? Okay. Uh, that's not even pinned anymore. Queen takes pawn. Queen takes queen. Knight takes queen. Bishop takes pawn. Bishop moves. Bishop e five e four. Might be two. G four right now. Not winning. This way? Yeah, no, other way, I don't know. Quick. Quick quick. Let's get a like uh Right, we wanna get two games left, not just one. 
So we can try to catch that dominant 750. We are fourth out of 1200, which is pretty cool. Yeah. If only, if only that draw hadn't happened. Or maybe if I had accepted that it was drawn quicker and, you know, not kept on going. Or if we played faster. So many things to improve. A resignation right now would be awesome. That would be pretty sweet. We're probably just asking for a rundown of the time. Okay. Seven. Just to be different. Alright, so bishop b4 was indeed better. They have the same move though, right? King takes pawn is also valid. <laughs> King takes pawn is also valid, but I decided it was still it was defended. You can cancel doing this thing. Watch right. this, watch this. Oh, crazy. Oh, but I think they did it too quick. Both times that we've attempted to cancel, it's been it's been too slow. F3. Maybe bishop somewhere cute. Bishop F4. I'm just gonna, we're gonna try to win this game without taking on G7. I think we should take on G7. Uh, also, should have taken bishop takes D2, yeah. Alright, we'll take on G7. <laughs> I will, I will start <laughs> using cool. my brain again. Sweet. Okay. Uh, 47 points, 4th. Find an 800, a 770, and a If we win, I think we're actually really close to getting first. Yeah. Probably supposed to take. I just keep taking pawns, because that's what you're supposed to do, but it's okay. Maybe this is more practical. It's an alapen. Alapin or Alapine? I always said Alapin. Do you say Alapine? I say Alapine. Huh. But then it's Alpine skiing. Okay. I'm going to try to hang my queen on d5 at some point this game. Where do you think my queen belongs? Maybe d I don't know, man. Eight six and queen d8. It's kind of boring. Let's start with queen d8. Yeah. We'll play that way. h6 first would be better. Alright. Aggression. That's what counts in chess. Oh, you can play bishop f5 and c6. Queen b3 is probably correct. Queen b3, queen c8. Creating dark square. Oh, and undermine it sometimes. I'm going to play knight b6. Thinking about c5. Controlling d5 first. Now they play g4, g5, and made us. c5? Yeah, looks good. I don't really care about double pawns over here, I don't think. It's possible I should care a little. Uh, How are we getting them? Oh, I see. So we got some... Maybe they'll play knight of three and stop rook d2. We got some tempo for you. We got the bishops. We do have the bishops. I'll praise the mighty bishops. Bishop b3. three. is rolling. That is the question. Maybe, I mean, it'd be nice to, maybe knight d5? Try to trade off the knight so you can play bishop e4. So we're going to end up with a lot of pieces on the e5. There's also rook e8, put a little pressure on bishop on e2. That was the move I was intending. Then bishop b5. 
Lucky seven. Okay, let's start with knight, actually. I also like doubling. Double, double, double. Yeah. If we trade off all the rooks, I think we still have nice winning chances. I mean, if we get a bishop to e4, then we can get a rook to the second, put pressure on the defender on the knight. Which is interesting. Yeah, that seems to give us... I feel like we're going to get this bishop and the knight. So we're... Right. Our bishop can come back to c6 if we get chased in b6. Also f5. And come back. Also rook c1. Yeah, rook c8. Rook c8. Too, yeah, well the bishop's still there. Makes some sense. Maybe it didn't make progress. I think this is good. We got a little bit out of the way, and now we can activate the other rook. Question is, is that if they, they take and play rook d1? F5 is probably useful because they don't want to play g4. Um, C2 at some point, maybe. I think F5 is useful. We really, I think we need we need to play this for as much of a win as we can. Yeah, I agree. Got to get points on the board. It's more, I think it's more important to win this than play try to play fast for the next game. I don't know how they'll count it. Is it if you started it or if you finish in the time? I think it's you have to finish. So I think this is our last game. Okay, so let's just really try to win this game. Don't need to move it, but could. Also take on d1? Yeah, take on d1, rook d8, and then get the rook to d2. Yeah. So right now if they play... Oh, they've got the rook on... b3 is actually kind of nice, because it defends the knight. True. Like, I'd like to have... take some f3 here, but... I mean, this is absolutely troubles for them. We don't want to enter opposite bishops, though. Did we... If we had taken on f3, we could. Oh, you have rook f2 after. Okay. Yeah. Didn't we also have rook, H, rook a1? King g2, rook g1, king h3. Or maybe not. So I probably want to throw in the check. It's a shame, yeah, rook g1 isn't made. Because you can always drop back now to and give some pressure. I'm going to repeat once. Yeah, hold on. There might, there might be... Wait, we can take on... I was going to take an a5. Now. We can take on a f3, and then play rook f2. Ah, we can. You're correct. Ah, Ben, bring all the tactics. Jake, bringing none of them. Next game. Next game. Are we not in first? Oh, come on. Hmm. How, do we, how many points do we get for that? We didn't get a lot of points. Oh, though. we have a good opponent. Right. There's only one way to win fast, and we all know it's the Budapest. Just play this like a bullet. Okay. We don't even, like, the rating doesn't matter. I, I certainly agree with that. They're spending a while to find d3, so maybe they'll hang f2. That would be lovely. Alright, I'm gonna take an f2. <laughs> yeah. We can just, just move bring the, the bishop, bishop back. back. Watch out for uh, c5. Yeah. But then we have c6. Or queen sucks. c5, c6, queen e4, knight f2 would be a fun finish. Queen d2? Oh, queen d6 is uh, probably decent for them. We can play f6. Okay. Here the check. Oh, okay. I'll be keeping f6 controlled. Queen e7 next, I think. Mm. 
We have up to whenever we want to. Like it has like two turns ago. Yeah, well. I wanted to keep that six control. Maybe yeah, knight of two instead of queen e seven was better, but I uh Okay, yeah, this one against the rook. Okay, We've got four words, so we should do fine. Okay. Also, might be fun. Might be four. It's true. I keep this active first. This should be four. D five. This one. No, oh, I wanted this bishop to hop over the dark square. So maybe bishop mm -hmm. a five. Now play an eight d three check. Force more pieces off. All right, if we play instantly and they don't take all of their time, take the bishop. Please resign. We're on zero points, buddy. You can safely uh, give this F5. one. I think we're going to get this game. Nice. No, so it was end. I retreated to g3 so close, or g4 so close to mate. Move the king forward one and then do it. Oh, if they wait out the clock, this will be so upsetting. I think we should report them. Not that it will matter. We'll give them the thumbs down for sportsmanship, but... Oh, man. Well, the delights of uh, internet chess involve very kindly people behaving like this. Whatever. <sighs> this is pretty, pretty BM. Yeah, this is not good behavior. Honestly, what's even the point here? Just to cause someone else unhappiness. Yeah, yeah, it's just someone thinking, if I can go out into the world and make someone else a little less happy, that's a worthy use of my time. Alright, I'll be back in two minutes. I'll miss you. Alright, well... There's a lot to talk about here. Uh, you know, I have the two bishops advantage. That's pretty critical. Um, I don't have any passed pawns yet, so I should definitely work on that. Uh, and my rook should probably look to invade on the seventh, though I can consider looking for mating nets as well. So there's definitely a lot going on here for white to think about. G4 to try to undermine my bishop is an important idea. I'll probably play bishop c7 check to drive their king away. And if king e3, maybe rook d3 check, king e2. Then my bishop can come to f4, then I can follow with rook d2 check, the bishop's on e4 and f4, we'll cover all the third rank, they'll have to go back to the first, and I can start setting up mating nets. Is there anything else I can pretend to talk about here? I don't think so. Ah, they're offline now, delightful. Ooh, maybe it will give me one of those activity wins, but I don't think so. Sometimes the little thing pops up and it says auto-resign in however many seconds. Because if we got the auto-resign... Ah, we did get the auto-resign. All right, we will give them a thumbs down. They were a bad sport. And we don't have time, but I'm glad we got that one. That's nice. Let's let the uh, time run out. Second. Unless someone else gets a result within 20 seconds. All right, well, I'm glad they disconnected. That's worth something. Uh, they disconnected and forfeited. We got the win. <laughs> wow. And we're not playing another one because there's not enough time, but we did get second behind Werbin Life. The, so, is, how many points did he gain yeah. in this tournament? All right, so we got second place. We got 15 wins and a draw. And what is going on? Let's... How did let's, they not gain... Did they just lose... Hundreds of games to get to like 200 just to play this. 
It's a little suspicious, but anyways, congrats to us, Silver out of 1350 players. I think we'll call that a video and then investigate them on our own.